is a CPU? The heart of a computer. And without one, you have no computer. And this is Minecraft. I love Minecraft. Maybe a little too much. But guys, there is a problem. The Java edition of Minecraft is the most CPU heavy edition of the game. And statistically, the latest version of Minecraft is the laggiest version of the game yet. But if you only had a $1 CPU, can I even buy a CPU for $1? Can a $1 CPU run Minecraft? I'm kind of scared to find out how slow a $1 CPU might actually be. Let's buy a $1 CPU. I went to my favorite site, eBay, in search of a CPU for $1. CPU, it begins. <laughs> All of these I can see right now are like $25. So what I did, I put a price limit. Minimum price, zero, maximum one. Just a singular dollar. And here we go. Oh! I found this CPU. It looked great at first, but then... Oh. Oh. <laughs> we have a Ryzen 5 3600. I have to wait nine days. Oh, an Intel Celery. E3300. Dual core processor. Only 99 pennies. On paper, this looks great. That's until I did some research. Launch date. <laughs> 2009. It wasn't just that CPU. Discontinued. 2008. It was really hard to find a CPU that wasn't just too old. I have been searching for so long. I had no idea I was about to find the most amazing $1 CPU I had ever seen. Guys! Yes! Dude, an Intel Pentium G2020, 2.9 gigahertz dual core processor for $1.21. Woo! I think this is it. I bought it. <sighs> It has been a few days since I last recorded this video, and that is because I was generally concerned that this CPU we bought was not going to arrive. It was supposed to come a couple days ago. It did not. So then I waited, and I waited. I started getting a little nervous. And so, I may have bought many CPUs. They're all one dollar. I'm starting to think I have a problem. About five CPUs. Five. <coughs> oh. And some of the CPUs that we bought, I didn't have a motherboard for. So then I had to buy a motherboard, compatible computer memory, power supply, and a CPU cooler. The one and only Wang Fi Feng. Luckily though, our CPU arrived and it was time to unbox it. Did this guy make a mistake or something? I have two. What the heck? But what if they're broken? Let's find out. And from just looking at them, they look absolutely fine, but the first CPU looks a lot less faded. Yeah, they look fine. They don't look bad. With that out the way, on to our next challenge. We need a compatible PC. And before you guys ask, what PC do you have bad enough to run a $1 CPU on? Uh, the Amazon PC! Throwing it! This computer comes with the exact CPU socket I need to run a $1 CPU. LGA1151, which looks like this. We're gonna put the $1 CPU inside of the Amazon PC because essentially that makes it so we don't have to buy a whole new computer. This PC absolutely sucks. And it was basically a scam. This is about to go so wrong, I can already feel it. I had no idea. It is time to install a $1 CPU. They do not want this coming off. Is that just yeet? No. Eh. Okay, that is our current CPU. Yeah, this looks gross. And in with the $1 CPU. That was not hard at all. Gamers! It is the next day and the PC is finally ready. It's mostly ready. I'm just gonna do without this. All we have to do now is plug a monitor in and a keyboard and mouse. Eh. It is time to find out if the $1 CPU works. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on. Boop. Did I unplug? There you go. Now it should turn on. It's not turning on at all. Okay. Don't turn on. It turns out I was pressing that button, not the power button. Does the computer work? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh! Dude, I mean, it's on. It's on. Come 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 on. Anything? Bruh. The lights come on, but there is. Oh, there's no life. The computer wasn't working. After 20 minutes of troubleshooting, I figured the CPU might just be dead. Because I got two, I went to install the second CPU. Does the computer now work? On go. That was quick. You gotta be kidding me. Both those CPUs are dead, or I've made a mistake. 
And we've got another one. Our third Pentium G2020. Guys, I just put the third $1 CPU in. Let's see if the computer works. It's still not working. No signal and it's gone. It's 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 gone. Try putting the original CPU this computer came with back in the computer. The computer still does not work. I was losing it. The, the answers. <laughs> Please subscribe. I killed the motherboard. At least that's what I think I did. So I bought a new one. And that is our motherboard. Oh, they scammed me. <laughs> okay, wow. I just looked at the motherboard. It is hard to see, but the CPU socket is damaged beyond repair. And the motherboard looks bashed. I don't know what to do, guys. I bought another motherboard. For some reason, it smells really bad. Hopefully, this isn't broken. Yeah, no, this is useless. I had spent two weeks at this point, so if this motherboard did not work, I was gonna be really sad. I installed it with the CPU it came with to make sure it worked. Our new gaming monitor. And guys, it works. So I installed the $1 CPU. Obviously, the first time we did this, I fried the motherboard somehow. I'm very nervous, but let's go ahead. It is time. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, we got something. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Beautiful. I can't wait to find out just how slow this is. Oh, that is slow. Intel Pentium G2020. 2.9 gigahertz. 3% utilization. Two cores. So far, no CPU lag. For the price of $1. I'm gonna open a series of things and see how responsive is a $1 CPU. Starting off with File Explorer. This does not feel slow at all. Okay, this is a bit mean, but I'm gonna do it. 1080p, can it play? No, oh, it's not. No, it's, <laughs> cannot play 1080p. Our CPU is just absolutely revved to the max. It can run Microsoft Paint. One dollar. That's not a- <laughs> But now, the moment of truth. How does a one dollar CPU run Minecraft? We're gonna be using this $1 CPU's integrated graphics. I'll be surprised if this thing even boots Minecraft. I've signed it again, hopefully it'll work. But Wi-Fi is so slow on this computer, it is incredibly bad. This is actually unbearable. Oh, oh, oh! No way, no way, no way! 97% memory, 100% CPU. We just got Minecraft running on a $1 CPU. <laughs> the CPU has calmed down a bit now. 40 frames per second so far. But let's go ahead and make a new world. Cheapest CPU. And go. Three seconds in and our CPU has gone to 100% usage and our frames are now at, oh, oh no, what's happening? I'm calling it, the game's gonna crash. Final 4%. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Minecraft, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, my. what is going on? Oh, 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 what? Oh, it's still doing that glitchy thing. Oh, this is actually extremely unplayable. Oh, my goodness. I'm even on low settings right now. How is this even possible? Our CPU is just tagged at 100. Our frames are not getting any higher than zero. <laughs> and the game just crashed. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna set all our settings to the absolute lowest. For some reason, I'm underground. Hey, there we go. Oh my god, it's playable! Okay, I, I spoke too soon. <laughs> We're still at 100% CPU. That can't be good. It's not. It's just not. No, don't crash! <laughs> to try and improve our frames, I reinstalled the graphics card. We now have the GT710. Chances are our performance is still gonna be terrible. It's still bad. That actually made no difference. Who needs Alt F4? I have TNT. No way, the game's running smooth now. Well, it's too late. No, reverse, reverse. <laughs> no, no way. It's still going. It survived. No! I wanted to see if an older version of Minecraft would run better. 1.7.10 is almost 10 years old and no way. Oh, what the heck? Dude, no way. Guys, this might be the most affordable 200 FPS I have ever seen. No way. Oh my goodness. 200 FPS. And all you need to finance is $1. Oh, and okay. Oh, it's not the smoothest. Interestingly, we are running so much better than Minecraft 1.20. This is borderline playable now. On a CPU that was $1, we need to try Minecraft Bedrock. Minecraft Bedrock has some of the best optimization. Can a $1 CPU handle Bedrock? Little laggy, 
This looks smooth on camera, but I could feel a lot of input lag. Some chunks are just not loading. The performance between Bedrock and Java on a $1 CPU is ridiculous. Wait, what's my render distance on? 32? No, turn it down. Oh, this is actually so much smoother. We're getting full 60. The game isn't even lagging anymore. I'm on a $1 CPU right now. It's not even lagging. Will my frames drop? Come on, come on. It didn't even freeze. All you need to run Minecraft is a $1 CPU. I hope this inspired you guys. If this video goes viral, please subscribe.